two cars I'm going to show you. No YouTubers ever had an opportunity to show you side by side at the same time. It's a Maybach, but it's not just a regular Maybach. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back. Day two of my trip here in America, but this uh, day is actually probably gonna be a really special one. Actually, it is a special one because the two cars I'm gonna show you, no YouTubers ever had an opportunity to show you side by side at the same time. I doubt it. I've not seen it on the internet. Correct me if I'm wrong, you know, but for now we're gonna go with no YouTuber, right? I'm the first one. And uh, yeah, shout out to my boy Romith and Ruchit and uh, Anik and Sunny for letting us use their car as well. I'll show you guys what the special cars are. Here is one of them. It's a Maybach, but it's not just a regular Maybach. It's something very special. And then we have another car which belongs to Romith and Rucha and uh yeah let's just get to it it's July 4th by the way which is Romith and Rucha's birthday so go comment below and wish them a happy birthday and uh yeah let me get right to uh, what cars these are and why they're so special and try to show you some of the quirks and features actually there's a lot of quirks and features so that's how I'm gonna say try because I don't know all of them and I'm I don't want this to be a long video so let me show you which car this is we're gonna hit you with a quick b-roll and then I'm gonna go inside one of these cars and here we have it Here's a W220 Pullman, which you guys have seen the day one of uh, my arrival, which I got picked up in. And uh, these aren't the wheels that came with it. These are just some extra wheels that they're using for the spare because they have AMG monoblocks that are going to go on. And the second car is a 222 W222 Pullman Maybach. It's a Maybach Pullman. Now this is just a Pullman, which was made in the AMG factory, believe it or not, from Mercedes. And this is actually the one from Maybach. So this is the only one of two in the country. And guess what? They own the other one. <laughs> so it's not like anyone else has it. These are the only two and they own both of it. But yeah, as you can see, it is right-hand drive. It is from London and it's got the Paji's number plate because all their number plates are Paji, by the way. Whether it's New York or New Jersey, whatever, LA, California, Montana, everything's Paji. So yeah, we got this Pullman here and this Pullman here. I don't know which one I should start with first. Let me start with, let's start with the 220 first. I think I know more about that car than this one. So and more basic compared to this car feature wise. I don't know if this is bulletproof. I think this is bulletproof and so are the wheels. This is some real presidential stuff right here but let's let me show you this car real quick actually let me switch to a little b-roll of this car and then i'll explain to you the quirks and features of this car oh, now getting in is a real tight squeeze. As you can see, the windows are double glazed. Sorry, I gotta talk over this AC. It's a really hot day, so. The windows are double glazed, and this is how I'm sitting right now. I wish I could show you guys, actually. Let me show you guys how it looks. This is how I'm sitting. Really tight squeeze. I don't know how Osmani does it. That guy's like 6'3", but yeah, this is how it is in his car. Let me lower the AC so you guys can hear me. So you got your basic S-Class features, you know, you got your front heated and cool seats for the driver and the passenger, whoever that is. You got push to start over here, you don't need to actually put the key in. And your basic Mercedes controls, you know, like it's a 220, you guys know what it is. You know, automatic headlights, blah, 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 all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, got a few buttons over here which are pretty cool. I guess this is for the suspension dampening. That's for your traction control. This is for the headdress for the back, I guess. Unlock lock, your hazards. This is for if your car is getting towed or if you're jacking your car up. Uh, parking sensors off, and then this one is for the middle portion, I guess. Let me see. Oh, my God, there it is. It's only half of it works for now. <laughs> well, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed in this car, but. Um, Roman doesn't have the time to do it, so it's not it's not stuff that you need on an everyday basis, so it's all good. You got your cute little Mercedes CD player 
and display. Let's see if it works. Turn it on. I mean, of course it's going to work. I want to work. Okay, never mind. This is canceled, I guess. Actually, this is canceled, um, or it doesn't work. I'm not sure, because there's an aftermarket head unit in the back with the big TV. So maybe this is, this is canceled from the previous owner. So let's go check out the back. Before we go to the back here, check out this button. This is to uh, communicate. You hear that sound? That's to communicate with the, uh, the rear passengers. So you don't have to scream on top of your lungs. And uh, there's also a phone back here. Uh, so you can actually speak to the passengers back there i'm pretty sure that's aftermarket mercedes does not give you a phone like that but i guess they have to put in that because it's much more convenient than yelling into a speaker which i agree get out of the back get out and go to the back that is oh my god it's a hot day guys let's hop in the back where the magic happens look at these curtains these are from factory by the way how cool is that these are like drapes of a, in a house or something. As you can see, there's that aftermarket system I was talking about. So there's the remote for it. It's got a nice Samsung TV back in the back, which is in there somewhere in the middle, which I do not know what buttons for what. So I'm not even gonna attempt to mess around. But in the back over here, we got your heated and cooled ventilated seats, you know, power, electric reclining seats as well, ashtray, uh, your window controls, obviously. And uh, you got one cup holder over here. Here, This is a US model, so it never came with a fridge um, because Romit was saying that the fuel tank is, uh, I guess, much bigger in the US spec, a little bigger. So they did make a provision, like a, uh, like a slot in between for the fridge to go in or something. So uh, yeah, this one doesn't have a fridge, but he has a fridge. But he needs to get a new gas tank just to put that in. So that plan is on a hold. But I found the button for the partition. So it's right here. As soon as you put the armrest down, you just push up and watch that baby go. And it gets stuck. So we'll stop messing with that. But that is the TV I was talking about. And it also acts as a partition. Over here, you got your full lighting. I think this is OEM from Mercedes. I'm not sure. I think it is, but let's just pretend it is because it looks clean and it's nice. And it goes well with the Alcantara, which came from factory. You got mirrors on both sides, one for you here and the passenger in front of you. You know, your beautiful lady sitting in front, she can check herself out. And then if you have some more ladies over there, they can check themselves out as well. Along with some other ladies over here, they can check themselves out. So you got four mirrors. Actually, three plus one, so you can see yourself. The rest of the girls can see themselves too before you guys go out to the club. So, pretty cool. You got curtains all around in the back. I'm not even gonna go attempt to looking for these buttons, but uh, it's somewhere over here. I don't this control something, one of the curtains. I don't wanna mess around anything, you know? Like, these are old cars. I don't know what's working, what's not working, like, you know, but it rides well. By the way, I know you guys saw the S600 badge in the back. The previous owner put that on. This is actually S500 with the 5 liter V8, which I prefer personally because uh, up until like 100, it, it doesn't really make a difference because you know they make the same, almost the same amount of uh, torque and, and it's a lighter motor. And I feel like up until like, not 100, I'd say about 60 miles an hour. Uh, it doesn't make a difference. Obviously after 60, it makes a difference you know the v12 you know four more cylinders of the 600 but this is a 500 and it's more than efficient you know they drove from new jersey to miami in this car non-stop when they first got it and the car made it completely fine and honestly like this this thing these engines are bulletproof so you don't have anything to worry about so yeah pretty cool car let's step over to the pullman and give you a little b-roll of that and then check out the quirks and the features I, I got a brief moment to sit in that car yesterday and oh my god if you think this was a treat that's the full main course man that thing is sick that thing is so dope such a such a I mean, this this thing this car you know i must say it being probably almost 20 years old has really good road presence a lot of people dm me on my story and they were like wow like this this car is sick like what is it you know and they were asking me if it was actually original from mercedes 
like like I said, this is original from Mercedes, built in the AMG factory. That one over there is original from Maybach. I mean Mercedes Maybach, built in the Maybach factory. So let's go check that out. Hope you guys enjoyed this car because I did with the ventilated seats on a hot day. Thank you God for technology. As I as I was leaving, I noticed that's the intercom right there, which is not being used. And here's the phone, by the way. I forgot to show you guys. Here's the phone that the uh, passengers can connect with the driver. It might seem close, but it's actually really far away. Like when you're sitting down, the front's pretty far away. So it's hard to talk to the driver, but we'll get it done. All right, here it is, guys. The Maybach Pullman. Now this has been uh, facelifted at RDBLA. You guys can check it out. They've actually featured this car and uh, they actually have two of these and both of them are actually facelifted, I'm pretty sure. But right off the bat, you can see Maybach logo on the front, looking so, so dope. And it's got the facelift headlights with the facelift front end as well, because this is a 2015 or 2016, I'm not sure, before the facelift came out. They got it facelifted, so it's pretty cool. The front and the back, obviously, they're not just gonna facelift the front, but they also did the back as well. Yeah, Maybach badge over there as well. And this is actually a, Maybach S600, so this has the V12. It, just in case you didn't notice the V12 side on the on the right and the left of the car on the side. And look at these wheels. But yeah, let's check out the inside. Looks so cool. And of course, it's got the smart access key. <laughs> now, remember how small the fitment was in that one, but this one's. Thankfully, a little more roomier. Got the V12 badge right there. How cool is that? But I'm going to go ahead and start this car. Let these ventilated seats. Ooh. This is not V12 purr. So I'm going to let these ventilated seats cool off while I do a little B-roll. Because it is hot, guys. And these seats have been sitting in the sun all day. This has all the blinds and all the curtains put on. I don't really want to mess around with it and go around pressing buttons that I don't know what is what. But I'm going to leave this door open so we get some light in. As you can see, this one, since it has a panoramic sunroof in the back, doesn't have the mirrors, which is cool, you know. If you have a car like this, I'm pretty sure the girls with you have mirrors themselves. So you got the Burmester surround sound everywhere. Oh my god, how cool is this? Got AC vents over here as well, or is this a light? I don't know. Yeah, it's a light. It's a light. Like really like first class stuff. You got your gauges over here. It's got your temperature. So of course it's in Celsius because it's a right hand drive from Britain. Your miles per hour. It's got your Maybach clock. How cool is that? Yeah. Reclining seats. V12 written on both the seats. How cool is that? These are all your controls over here, which I don't want to mess around with. Let's close that. Here's your intercom for to speak with you and your driver. And then, of course, here is the button for the partition as well. And there's a TV over there as well. So, and there's TVs over here under the seats for um, where the passengers would sit on both sides, but also has a big TV over there that is actually connected to an Apple TV. How cool is that? It's actually the newest gen Apple TV. I don't even have this at home, damn. Another cool feature, the cup holders are heated and cooled. How cool is that? And the colors change according to uh, the temperature. That's awesome, you got AC controls, real basic stuff. Uh, your regular S-Class has, but other than that, this thing is sick. This thing is so dope. And of course, the coolest feature, like every other Maybach that is out now, it has the button to shut the door I think this is the first one to get it and then I guess the new 223's have it standard now and all their Maybachs or it's a feature I don't know but yeah damn it's it's dark in here man I feel like I'm in a house doesn't even feel like a car but yeah got your handlebars over here as well both sides for 
the passengers. How cool is that? But yeah, real dark in here, real quick. Let's get out of here and check out the front as well. All right, let's hop in the front. Let's make it a crazy sound because it cannot detect the key. Uh, this is a little more comfortable than the other car when it comes to seating position wise. Yeah, but uh, you're, you know, it's got your full S class features with the screens, you know, the big screen, all that, you know, good stuff. But uh, leather dashboard, look at that, diamond stitched. And of course, both the seats up front say V12 as well. So, yeah, Burma's just around sound. And of course, both the seats up front got heated and cooled. So, yeah. Cool stuff. And these uh, the steering wheel actually says Maybach on it as well. So, it didn't compromise anywhere where it says Maybach. Check it out. Even the door still say Maybach. This says Maybach. A lot of Maybach badging and a lot of V12 badging as well. So, yeah. And that will be the conclusion for this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Keep, by the way, comment below what you guys think about both the Pullmans and which one you guys like the most. And shout out to the Bajis again for hooking it up and letting me use the cars. Keep watching the America vlogs, please. I know you guys don't like it when Ruel's not shooting, but he's going to be editing this video. So please go ahead and like it. And I'll see you guys soon. A lot more action to come. So stay tuned. We got a lot of cars coming, a lot of deliveries probably happening. So stay tuned, guys. See you soon and uh, take care.